so good morning guys um, today I'm uh, here for a sunrise in the Peak District and I'm just hiking up to my first spot as we speak um, it's probably the it's a place that's been uh, photographed quite a lot in the past uh, it's called Chrome Hill and it's quite icy today, so I have to be a little bit careful on foot and watch what I'm doing. Um, but the views already are looking amazing. Uh, so I'm going to carry on uh, heading up now and uh, try and find a, a nice composition for the uh, first shot. But unfortunately, there is no... Uh, there's no sky interest really because it's uh, been a cold night but you can see behind me it's looking quite nice but unfortunately there are no clouds but never mind we'll work with what we've got so I'm going to carry on walking up and see what we can find. composition um, basically we've got this tree down here which is a really good anchor in the foreground with a nice leading line out on this ridge next to the tree into uh, into the hill in the background I think that's Chrome Hill um, there's a couple of high clouds wispy things they're catching some nice pink light but it's nothing it's nothing to really to be uh, to be wild about so I'll talk you through my camera settings anyway uh, on the Fuji X-T2 I'm using the 10 to 24 mil lens which is a 15 to 35 mil lens on a full frame I'm using the polarizer just to cut a bit of the haze in the distance out um, and also I'm gonna bracket this shot instead of using filters fancy bit of a change um, and also it's very bright and I've just put a couple of filters on and it's uh, it's not really bringing it enough, bringing the highlights down enough really. So um, yeah, I quite fancy having a go at bracketing uh, anyway, just as a bit of a bit of a change, a bit of a mix up. So I'm at f11, uh, ISO 200 and I'm at 1.3 seconds. I might need adjusting now though because the light is changing so much. So yeah, two second timer, which I've not put on again. I always forget to do. So let's try that again. Just wait till that's finished. Right, now we'll put two second timer on. I'm manually focused, um, making sure that the tree is definitely in focus. So that's like the sort of anchor point in the image leading out to the mountains in the background. It's actually a sheep right on the top of the peak of the mountain of the hill over there sorry um, so let's just check this image make sure it's all nice and sharp we've got all the uh, dynamic range in it looks good
also going to do is um, lower my tripod down because it's just a little patch of snow just in front of my camera and I'm hoping in about two three minutes time this is going to catch some really nice light and um, I think that would be quite a quite a good striking image um, with the with the nice orange pink light on the snow. So I'm going to get set up for that shot, and uh, I'll get back to you very shortly. So the uh, sun is right above the horizon now, really, really bright. Um, it's probably one more composition down back on the ridge, but I've just um, I've just waited a little bit longer, come up a little bit higher as well. And there's this really nice house with this red door, and it's just catching some really nice um, side light. Um, I'm eliminating the sky from the image as well. Uh, but it's really simple. I've got the 85mm lens on. Um, let's see, I'm at f11, ISO 200, and I'm at 1 13th of a second. Um, and there's nothing to it, there's no polarizer, there's no filters, not bracketing. It's just a really nice, simple image. So, I'm going to take that. Now, this time I've got a two second timer on. Stunning. down onto the ridge and I've just noticed this little pot potch little little patch of uh, frost here it's just in the shade still and uh, I thought if I come close to it sort of focus on the frost and then whatever's in the background can sort of fade out because of the bright sun um, so yeah I want f18 just so the the ridge um, part of the ridge further on is still in focus um, but anything beyond the beyond that ridge is uh, is out of focus because of the, the bright sunlight um, so yeah I think it could be quite nice uh, I think it's one we'll see when we get back to the computer or f18 uh, what have we got here sorry f18 125th of a second ISO 200 two second timer I just keep seeing compositions from this ridge. Um, now the white's just changing all the time. It's just sort of peaked over the hill in the uh, in the distance, and it's just giving the side light to this little row of trees. And it's just it just looks so so nice. It just jumped out to me as I was walking back down the ridge. Um, 
I've got this little sort of fence, uh, I think it might be a wall or something, just sort of leading your eye into the image, into this row of trees. It's just so so simple, really. Um, there's again 56 mil lens, uh, probably in a one by one crop um, as well. Possibly even black and white, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, at f11, 135 a second ISO 200, no filters, no polarizer, um, just really really lovely image. Again, just taking the sky out of the equation. There's nothing there of interest so there's no point in really including it um, and yeah it's just really nice I'm manually focused I've just uh, put it in a one by one crop just to see what it'll look like a two second timer and just a little adjustment to the composition really like that, really happy with it. I'm going to end uh, this morning the photography here. Um, hopefully, got some good images there. Uh, I've never been there before. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, this is Chrome Hill. If anybody wants to um, take a look online or anything, or come themselves, um, I wanted to. As I wanted to get the sort of standard shots that quite a lot of people get, which is probably the tree image, looking down. The, uh, down the ridge onto Chrome Hill. Um, but I just wanted to get something different as well, try and get my own composition, try and get my own sort of stamp on things. Um, otherwise, everyone just comes out with the same images and there's nothing new, there's nothing exciting. So hopefully I've got some good compositions of my own, um, as well as the, as the tree image. Which is a fantastic composition. It's just, it's just like the perfect picture, isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you again for watching, guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, um, get a thumbs up and subscribe to see some more landscape photography from myself. So uh, that's it for this morning from the peaks, and uh, hope you see you in the next video. Cheers.